I had visited Shenzhen about 12 years ago, yeah, when I was not yet living in China, to give a, a talk. And I was already then, I was impressed by the campus and uh, how nice the facilities were, and by the people and the students who, who came to my presentation. And I did have no idea then that, that I would later move to Shenzhen myself. But I, was, I always remembered how pretty yeah, the campus was here. My name is uh, Jeroen van der Weyer. I also have a Chinese name, Yalu An. I'm a professor, so what do professors do? Yeah, they teach yeah, classes, also teach classes in linguistics, and I do research yeah, about languages, languages all over the globe, and yeah, what they have in common, how they're different, how they are acquired in childhood uh, and by students, how they're forgotten, yeah, like in old age. And uh, we want to know as much as possible about that whole process, how we uh, use language. That's important. Yeah? The communication is very important in all kinds of situations, you know, like in trade and economics. It's very important to communicate yeah, well and clear and effectively. So that is yeah, all kinds of study, all kinds of areas that linguists study. Linguistics is a very young science yeah, compared to sciences like, like physics you know, or mathematics. Yeah, we've only been doing this for yeah, 50 or 60 years, scientifically, yeah, perhaps. And we're just at the beginning of finding out very much about language. Yeah, we hardly know anything about what happens in the brain yeah, when we speak. Or if you think about it, yeah, it's quite amazing yeah, how many words we know of our language and how we can process that so quickly. It's actually very interesting here in Shenzhen because most people come from outside yeah, with their own Chinese dialects. How that works when people speaking different languages yeah, come together and they're, they're forced or they're happy to all speak the same language. And do they adjust their languages yeah, to each other? Do some people adjust them more than others? Is language changing as a result? So that's interesting to study. Shenzhen would be a perfect place to do that kind of research. Shenzhen is absolutely a wonderful place to live. Yeah, it's clean and has this atmosphere of achievement and optimism and positivity, kind of air of achievement and getting ahead and competition, but also cooperation. Also, it's a very green city. And so when I walk to class, yeah, it's partly through the woods, and that's amazing. For the future development of the Special Economic Zone, I think um, you know, we should continue on this road and with this spirit that's been very fruitful over the last 40 years. Cooperate yeah, between different universities yeah, in Hong Kong, Macau, um, also in Guangdong, develop our own university, you know, like with the PhD program again, so that you know, scientific research and technological advancement yeah, go together and that we train new students yeah, to follow in our footsteps in that way. <laughs>